Crikey, mate, we're back with another episode of Lucha Underground Down Under. No, we're not. We're not. We're not in Australia. We're in the Dobbins Baseball Complex because we've got to change it. Anyway, I, I we'll changed start. it. I put it to the best. Oh, did we do? Oh, yeah, because that's got most so. attendance. I think, yeah. yeah. Anyway, we open up the show. Mister Blobby comes out, and he's like, "Last night was a great event. There were some great matchups. N- new superstars were made, and some were not made." <laughs> <laughs> and he says. He apologises for losing his match against Joey, but he says he'll get to that later. He'll get to that with NWO later, because there's a bigger issue on hand. The Lucha Underground world champion, Alberto Del Rio, was only on loan for the company for one night, and he managed to steal our championship. But in doing so, it means the title is vacant, as unfortunately Pentagon has suffered a severe injury and will be out for a few months. So that means we need a new champion. Now you listen here, brother. Hulkamania. Hulkamania. No, there's a Lucha Underground title that's vacant. And you listen here, brother. I've got Big Joey over here and Big Daddy Kev. They are ideal champions to run this company, brother. Or even me, Hulkamania. Right (laughs) wild on you. Hold up, Hulk. Well, I've got someone else in mind as well. And his name's Coda. He can't be here tonight because he's a global superstar working. Well, you listen here, brother. <laughs> NWO is global. We're international. We're space worldwide. Aliens know about NWO, brother. And he says, well, that may well be. But that does not mean we grant title shots out willy nilly. Do you understand? So next week, Joey Ryan will be in a match to prove that he is a number one contender for this Lucha Underground Championship. The same will be for Kota Ibushi. If you two are successful at Lucha Underground Aftermath, one-on-one for the world title. There we go. Next segment, boy, 73. Good start to the show. Big, oh, Daddy, Big Daddy Kev. Kev. He's been at like 100. He's getting better. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me, boys. Hey, look at that. What a match. This is why the push is starting, mate. In about that, great wrestling and decent reaction from the crowd. Aerostar, we promised him a push about two months ago. Here it is. Defeating Will Martez in 556 when Will Martez intentionally got disqualified. Both took stump bumps. 69 for Aerostar. Will Martez 68. Good, 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 uh, good match. And that was only with six minutes. So, good for them. And uh, that's pr- mad. Pr- What's the dirt sheet as well? Low locker and morale base. So, we don't have more. Locker him around, could get a few more points and stuff as well. Yeah, that's mad. Jesus. <sighs> the debuting boys, Dalton and Da Boys. Da Boys. Da Boys. <laughs> get ready. Da Boys. As, as you as you know, we were absolutely gutted about Joey's declining physical ability, so we needed a new project. Here it is, Dalton. Da Boys. Brandon Tate's improving in acting. So the the crap at the minute, but you know. Yeah, we just gotta wait. Come and next. Also, oh, they've got everyone's got low locker and morale, so that doesn't help. Yeah, no. Oh my god! Bang, bang. Crap! I thought Goldberg was gonna be the heel in this. Shawn Michaels is meant to be the heel, and we've had Goldberg <laughs> attack Shawn Michaels. Right, just imagine Shawn Michaels attack Goldberg. Pretend. Everyone pretend. You don't see. See, read it backwards. Shawn Michaels attacks Goldberg. Hand yeah. and chain. Oh, the heel is... at, at least it got a high rating, I guess. <laughs> the hand will change at the bottom. Let's turn Shawn Michaels heel. He's had enough. Yeah, look. Of... There we go. Complete turn. Because it does gimmick at the same time. Complete turn. It's probably going to go bad because it's... Yeah, because yeah, it work. doesn't make sense right now. But, yeah. <laughs> uh, Oops. Oops. Good rating though. Good rating. Yeah. Yes, boys, you take this one. In a butt that ha- that had good heat and decent wrestling, Lantanza Queto defeated Marafuji, Robert Van Dam, and Scottish Bastard in nine forty forty five when Mantanza defeated Robert Van Dam by pinfall with a wrath of the gods. Mantanza Queto wins the Lucha Underground Lucha in the Middle title. Everyone took a stump bump. Not everyone, just one person. Uh, <laughs> Marafuji got 56. 
Quato with 62, Robert Van Dam with a 54, and Scottish Bastard with a 60. Quato is improving in performance skills, and yeah, fucking hell, fucking hell, look at all of that. Oh, Marafuji's a bit fatigued, isn't he? Oops. A lot of it's locker in the round, though. Yeah, and the fact that they're, they're decreasing some of them, stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, the bloody old buggers. So, Mantanza, the new champion, mate. Yeah. Hopefully he actually doesn't get injured. Yeah, like Phoenix. Like, every... And I see it on other people's ones as well. Their champions get injured, like, all the time. It's weird. It's like only the champions have to get injured. It's probably because they defend it every week or, like, every month. I guess so. Yeah. To be fair, it was a long time coming. We get him to do stunt bumps and every it, week. I know, like, we should have seen it coming, basically. And it happened to two people on the same night. <laughs> like, what a fucking coincidence was that? Let's move on. Oh my god! Burger Jesus! <laughs> I'll, I'll get this, I'll get this, I'll get this. In a bout where fantastic heat and good wrestling, Joey and Peter Ryan, make this always good wrestling while you're on that. Edgy and Christian defeated Sting and the Buckaroos. In 1616, when Joey DePito Ryan defeated Nick Jackson by pinfall with Vicky D. Fiddler after a distraction <laughs> from a Hulk Hogan. This is funny every time. Sting was the weak link, mate. Well, right. Hulk Hogan made, even making it work on the outside. Jackson took a stump. Nick, sorry, I should say, took a stump. Bump. Sting was off his game. Edge 61, I mean, Christian 61. Edge 77. Joey 64, not bad. Sting 50, not bad for his age, I guess. Nick 70, and Matt 63. It's all <laughs> improving in flying. I know, every week. I'm he, surprised he's not dead. Mate, he's got an aeroplane. How can he not take a stump bump? <laughs> Have we not... even asked him, though? Yeah, we ask him all the time, I think. Oh, and he yeah. always rejects it, innit? We should try, try again another time. Go yeah, scroll try. up a bit. Has he got declined physical abilities? I think no, he has. Still... Oh, no, he oh hasn't. yeah. It's just he's Joey. the one who's like really old who doesn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and we should probably make him our champion, but we haven't. Oh, well. I know. Oops. Next. Oh, hey. Matt Jackson debuted a new uh, spot that showcased his athletic ability. His psychology will be helped by using it as a go-to spot in the future. Oh, good, good for Matt. And then, uh, and then they, and then out comes. Oh, well, he was already out there, but Big Daddy, yeah. Kev, Big Daddy Kev runs down and comes and celebrates, and they all celebrate to end the show. Any work improvements? Probably not. They're just celebrating. But yeah, uh, good show. A Eighty-two. What do we? 72. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Fucking dislike the video. <laughs> dislike. Mate, you know we have to dislike it. Uh, <laughs> Every mate. time we fuck up, we it's getting disliked. Dislike, mate. We forgot. It's been, a, it's been about three days or whatever. I know. That's long for us. Yeah. <laughs> like, to be honest, going one night without playing this is long. <laughs> <laughs> 72 is still good. We're still yeah. in the world we, regions. Yeah. Well... It could have had... Oh, should we continue and show them the... Um, pause the video now and we show them, you know, the f top 500 and stuff. Yeah, that's true, actually. All right, we'll see you yeah. in a minute. We're back, boys. We're back. With the awards, wrestler of the year. And, uh, Hiroshi! Tanahashi! Oh! <laughs> Company of the year, best be us. Liberty. Yep. New Japan. Team of the year was uh, the Briscoes. Match of the year. Uh, click on it, see where... It, it... Oh, can we not... No. Go, go, go on the go on the New Japan and then go on the top hundred matches. We find out. That was um, slow for some reason. Yeah, it was top hundred there. There it is. The matches. See see what rating it got. Bloody hell. Ninety eight. Jesus. Look how many matches it got. Tanahashi in them. I know. <laughs> I thought the top one would be Kenny Omega. See where that guy keeps voting it six out. Of. Five. <laughs> Dave Meltzer. Yeah, Dave Meltzer, the guy everybody hates in wrestling. Um, I don't know why everyone hates him. Uh, close. I see the the awards. Show of the year. Oh, oh yeah, no more Mister Nice Guy. That's right. No, click on that. Let's have a look at that show. Oh yeah, we can't. Oh well. What rating did it get? Go top hundred. Oh yeah, no we can. Mister yeah. Nice Guy. I, who was that? The was paper? the one before the pay per view. Oh, that was the one. Oh, that. You thought same, No, your enemy would have been the best one. Yeah, mate, that was well dramatic. Know Your Enemy was way better than No More Mr. Nice Guy by miles. 
It's because of the Shawn Michaels entrance, that's probably what made it. Yeah, mate, I just love the Shawn Michaels. Like, even in the pre-show, we had a 24. 80, Sin Cara quits, that was the moment of the year. Oh, mate, rip the dream. <laughs> just like, you know, when they do, like, the slammies in WWE, mate. Yeah. Moment of the year. Young wrestler, Will Ospreay. Osprey. Veteran. Boyaka, Boyaka, Shama. Female is a Kong. fat Kong. Who's that? Click on hers. What's her Alice, skin? that's what all her name is. Just Alice. She's from Germany. She's from Germany. What's her, what's her sex appeal like? Not very good. <laughs> no. Go I away, bet you her popularity is terrible. Yeah. Jesus. How can she be independent wrestler of the year? I know. Manager of the year. Ted DiBiase, CDR. <laughs> Announcer. It's always Paul Heyman in it. Sean. Oh, who's this? Hanazaki. Oh, I yeah, guess, we got oh, yeah. him. He's we, shortlisted. Yeah. yeah we know him. JVL. <laughs> yeah, he got that. He bullied the person. That yeah, he bullied before. the guy away. For the yeah. year. I guess this guy's from New Japan. Probably. Well, that's it. I'll show him the Power 500, like the top 50. Oh, yeah. So, our guys, uh, where's our, our first guy's Rey Mysterio. Boy, yep. uh, oh, well, technically, oh, it's Kenny Omega. Yeah. Spoilers. Spoiler. <laughs> Um, we got uh, Pentagon Dark. Pentagon 15. Dark. I think this is Pentagon Dark. Oh, that yeah. doesn't help. Yeah, it says he's injured in it, and it says paper appearance as Pentagon Dark. Dark Dragon, Pentagon Junior. There we go. Yep. So good. Good for him. Uh, the Jackson. Nick Jackson's yeah, yeah. there. And then Matt, and Jackson. Matt Jackson's there. Uh, they can pause it if they want to look. How did Big Show get 24? I know. Big Show got above Phoenix and Seth Rollins and Finn Balor. Yeah, look, Phoenix is there. Hey, Rip. Not Rip, what am I on about? That's good. Oh, mate. How, who let him get that high up? Hey, look. <laughs> Marklo Monaco. That's a cool name. Hey, look, Koto oh. Ibushi is like... And Marafuji. <laughs> oh, yeah. Marafuji's right. there. As well. That's it. All right, that's it, lads. Hope you enjoyed the awards. Yeah. See you <laughs> Look later. at that guy's face, mate. Look at that guy's face. Legend. Mate, we might have to sign him just because of his face. Yeah. Just All right. Oh. That picture. Yeah, mate. Safe, mate. See you later. Bye.